We now know how much alcohol was allegedly in a woman's system when she drove eastbound in the westbound tube of the downtown tunnel. The suspect crashed into a vehicle and killed the driver instantly. The blood alcohol content wasn't the only damning evidence that was presented today in a bond hearing. Confined to a wheelchair, 27-year-old Dominique Goodwin remained silent while a prosecutor outlined the terrifying moments before and after the fatal crash. Around 3 a.m. on December 30th, Goodwin allegedly traveled up the Court Street off-ramp and entered the wrong tube. She reportedly had a blood alcohol level of at least 022 that's nearly three times the legal limit. Police reportedly found a pint of tequila on the floor of Goodwin's vehicle, but there was no evidence that she was drinking from that bottle. It is also alleged she passed through two sets of red X's that are intended to show drivers they're headed the wrong way. 43 Shelby Riddick Walker, who was a beloved advocate for the LGBTQ community, was killed instantly on impact. Her son spoke to 10 on your side four days after his mother's death. I didn't sleep the first two days. I couldn't. I think I'll be, I know for me, I'll be able to slow down once we get out of the thick of it. No details were shared on the nature of the victim's injuries, but the suspect's mother told the court her daughter suffered broken wrists and ankles. A prosecutor shared the suspect also suffered a broken hip. A judge reviewed the horrific video from the crime scene, and he was briefed on the suspect's criminal history. The mother of two spent two years behind bars for felony child abuse, and she was convicted on a second felony charge of lying on firearms forms. The defense argued Goodwin was not a flight risk, but the judge ruled the suspect will remain in jail without bond. Goodwin surrendered to police on January 22nd. That's 23 days after the deadly collision. Her next court date is in March.